why does australia have such an enormous variety of venomous and poisonous animals as compared to other continents i think australian animals get uh, too much of a bad rap i know there are certain very scary animals let's go back to google uh, what about the inland taipan i mean they have some really uh, what on earth am i doing one second they have some really really scary dangerous etc uh, animals for example the inland taipan is probably i believe the world's uh, most venomous snake perhaps one of the world's most venomous snakes the inland taipan that's an australian snake um it is uh, etc yeah australia then you have something called the box jellyfish box jelly fish that is another frighteningly dangerous uh, jellyfish and uh, if you are bitten by that it uh, it can be fatal and it's extremely painful extremely dangerous and uh, you don't want to be near this okay so there is that then australia has various kinds of uh, very scary sharks including the great white shark which is the number 2 predator in the oceans the great white shark great white shark which is the number 2 predator in the oceans not number 1 and the number 1 is not the megalodon it's the orca the killer whale what else do the australians have they have got uh, what redbacks redback spider redback spiders and various other kinds of spiders i mean imagine this spider is <laughs> as you can see it's, it's killed a snake here <laughs> and then the, what else do they have uh what else can i think of the australians have a, a number of very scary uh, rather scary animals and uh, such species but overall if you look at the other animals in australia like the marsupials uh, the kangaroos they have like at least a couple of species of kangaroos they have wallabies they have koalas and they have all kinds of harmless animals as well really harmless animals the kangaroos are kind of feisty they they are known to box and uh, they kind of are territorial in nature they'll they won't be happy the, especially the large kangaroos if if you intrude into the, into the territory and so on but overall they're okay yeah i forgot the crocodiles the the salt water crocodiles let's put that on the screen so that's not exactly an australian crocodile salt water crocodile um that's a crocodile that's even found in in india okay in the eastern uh, indian ocean region but it is a gigantic crocodile and this is also found in northern australia northern eastern stria etc very very large gigantic monstrous crocodile the salt water crocodile and i'm sure i'm missing a few of these wonderful creatures but uh that is the deal but they also have a lot of harmless creatures so why do, so one thing i would agree with is that australia has a rather unique animals i mean you don't find marsupials anywhere else in the world apart from australia and and, and tasmania right marsupials they have you had the hylacine the, the tasmanian tiger which went extinct uh you have the what is it called the red what devil tasmanian devil which is also in australia very it's got a really really weird uh, way of shrieking at night really scary that's why it's called the devil you have the kookaburra bird that has a, an incredible vocalization that is that too is scary <laughs> if you if you are not used to it and so on um the thing is that australia if you look at the map okay we haven't seen the map to die i usually don't crack out the map in in science streams but let's do it maps let me open that and uh, put that on the screen give me a second so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the map i'm going to go to the globe view okay so we're going to look at australia and you can see that it's kind of isolated it's it's near papua new guinea indonesia but it's kind of isolated in the southern hemisphere far away from most other you know uh, large real estates essentially and the animals here have evolved mostly in isolation from other parts of the world um so maybe that's the reason why they have evolved differently in australia 
in australia also has a very unique kind of climate it has cold climate in the south it has forests and mountains it even has snow somewhere or the other i believe in new south wales and it has a very large desert region as you can see it's barren a lot of it is barren so it's got a very unique uh, terrain and climate and that's why i would imagine the animals have evolved here in isolation for hundreds of thousands of years and that's why they have evolved in in rather unique ways but i wouldn't say that australia has more dangerous venomous poisonous animals and species than let's say other parts of the world in india you have a whole lot of poisonous scary animals you have the cobra the standard indian cobra you have the spectacle cobra you have the king cobra you have the the russell's viper you have various kinds of pythons you have scorpions in india rather so scary scorpions and what not i mean you, you've got really scary animals in india you have gigantic bears at least three species of bears we have in india bears look very fluffy and very nice but trust me you don't want to be near bears bears can be really really dangerous and they're incredibly powerful tigers stay away from bears so you have that you have tigers obviously you have lions in india you have hyenas and what not so it's not like australia is something special every part of the world has its predators and all that but it's true that australian animals have evolved differently and they have rather unique species over there because of the relative isolation of of australia and uh, the and the kind of unique kind of climate and terrain that australia is endowed with okay